free form of transportation, but an Uber driver in the metro recently had a heart-pounding experience. The guns were definitely drawn, and I was, I was also ordered to raise my hands. Uh, it was far from a normal day at the office. Good evening. I'm Aaron Kiernan. I'm Dan Winters. Police say several shooting suspects made several bad decisions. For example, calling in Uber for their getaway car. The driver quickly learned he had picked up the wrong passengers. Channel 13's Justin Surrency joins us now with the story. Aaron, less than 20 days on the job as an Uber driver, Michael Street found himself surrounded by police and his hands in the air. He says he sensed something was a little different as soon as his customers entered the vehicle. Michael Street looks at life in a different light. It could have got uglier than it was, and I'm thankful to be here today. On Sunday, Michael was Ubering through the metro when he received his first pickup of the day shortly after 2.30 p.m. near University Avenue and 14th Place. Four juveniles entered his vehicle. The front passenger had the cockleburrs all over his uh, sweatpants, and I could smell sweat. Just before the pickup, Des Moines police had received a call of shots fired in the area. Michael noticed police cars nearby, but didn't want to pass judgment on his Uber customers. I'd asked these guys then, are you guys running from these cops? And, and they said, just get us to where we're going. So Michael, who has been an Uber driver for less than three weeks, continued. Witnesses gave us some pretty good descriptions of a group of juveniles that had run from the area and kind of run in between houses. Um, one of them later gave us a description of a vehicle that he saw these juveniles getting into. Michael's Uber app shows he made it less than a block before police stopped him at the corner of 14th Place and University. The guns were definitely drawn, and I was, I was also ordered to raise my hands. Despite all the chaos at this intersection, Michael says he was able to stay calm with guns drawn until he says one of the juveniles reached for a pack containing a handgun. That's when I kind of jumped out of my truck, and I said he's reaching for a weapon. And thank God they didn't, you know, they kind of knew already, I think, since that I was just the Uber driver. Police say the juvenile with the handgun was arrested, but it was not used in the nearby shooting. Basically what they did was they were somehow involved in this incident, some kind of dispute. They fired a gunshot and then they called an Uber to get away. Um, not a real good plan. A plan Michael is thankful to have survived. I immediately went home and, and hugged my grandson. Um, that was the only thing on my mind at the time.